the envoy of all young people around the world. Let's all cheer up at home for our next guest, Jayatma Vikramanayake, the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. So excited to be in yet another jamboree. Uh, what's the role for young people to play in this time of the crisis? I think first of all, it's important to understand that this virus does not distinguish based on your age or based on your um, you know, race or ethnicity or where you come from. So in the beginning, there were some myths uh, that young people are not you know, going to be affected and young people are immune. Uh, but now research and data has shown us young people are not uh, immune and they're as vulnerable as anybody else. So first is taking care of yourself, making sure that you wash your hands, you're, you're taking uh, the precautions that are put out there by WHO and the health authorities and taking care of yourself. That is important. And secondly, there are so many opportunities um, online to volunteer um, and to help people who are in need, even it's your family or friends, people who might be living with living in the same community as you. So while staying safe, trying to help people who are in need can help both the person you're helping and also yourself because you get a very strong sense of satisfaction and, and a purpose um, of your day-to-day -day life when you help others. So that is very important important um, to take care of yourself, social distancing, making sure you adhere to the guidelines and then trying to look for ways to support um, other people. Um, and lastly, I think we have to come together as a generation to advocate for mental health. Right now, there is a lot of advocacy going on in terms of investing in universal health coverage, make sure that health is accessible for everyone. Uh, we have to put mental health there as well. All interventions, funding, resources, infrastructure that goes into physical health should also dedicate resources for mental health, both for our healthcare workers, our doctors, nurses, essential workers, frontline responders who are going through extreme stress levels right now, but also, as you said, for young people who are missing out on their education, young people who are missing out on their graduations, their first job, um, and, and a lot of important milestones in life. Uh, so it's important that we put mental health and physical health hand in hand and at the same level and I expect all of you to make some noise about that on social media with your government with your politicians and make sure that it stays high up on the agenda so keep doing what you're doing you are not only helping yourself and your communities but are also giving a lot of hope and encouragement to other young people around the world to do the same and the moment we come out of this crisis it's going to be in the hands of our generation generation to rebuild the economy, to rebuild the social fabric, to rebuild the political system. So read up a lot, get yourself educated and be ready for the challenge by the time we are all coming out of this.